Hey, what's going on YouTube? So, uh... Haley and I are both bummed out. Yes, we are both bummed out. Oh, I know. We're back at the Freightliner shop. Haley's singing the blues. <laughs> she's singing the blues. Now she's barking the blues. So, uh... Stop. We got, uh... Just as I was about to, uh hook up and run my load today uh, my regen light came on and then shortly thereafter I get a message from OTRS telling me I need to do a parked regen and uh, there's a little short little process that you do to get it into regen <clears throat> which takes about an hour um, that's that was gonna make me late to begin with but it wouldn't do its thing. It would not kick into uh, regen mode. So I tootled on over to the shop, our shop, and they hooked it up to the computer to try a forced regen, and they couldn't get it to force regen. So they sent me over to the Freightliner shop. And now I'm at the Freightliner shop. We got this, this guy here that's in the computer, on the computer. We're hooked up to it down below. Oh, uh, and it just went off. But, so check this out. He hooked up to it. Nothing should have happened because he didn't do, he didn't tell it to do anything. My oil pressure dropped. My water pressure dropped. My RPMs aren't registering. It's telling me on a, I'm on too steep of a hill. <laughs> Does it look like I'm on a hill? Um, and my check engine light did pop on and then it went off now that he's running the code on it over there and um, and then my def isn't registering either my def is reading that it's it's about to run out and none of that is true and accurate Whoa. And he's shaking his head like he doesn't know what's going on. Here he comes. Hey, a new message has arrived. And we got a new message. Let's just see what he's got to say. It, the computer is telling me it needs an updated version. So give me a second. I just got to talk to one of the other senior techs. Okay. Alrighty. Well, there you heard it. Or if you didn't hear it, it's some something about some updated version. And he's got to talk to somebody else about it. So, um... That's that's what I'm dealing with today, people. That's what I'm dealing with. This is a brand new flipping truck. This is brand new. Should not be having problems like this. I already was at the Freightliner shop because of the wheel seal failed, splattered oil all over my um, my drum liner, my line or my drum and my liners. Should not be dealing with this with the truck with this fuel miles absolutely should not be so um, yeah they're trying to figure it out now what the hell's going on I don't know what the deal is this is uh, killing me killing me killing me we should come up with the Freightliner song. I'm not quite prepared to call it Crapliner because that wouldn't be PC. So we'll still call it a Freightliner. There needs to be a song about this. A song like Haley Girl, let's sing a song. Freightliner, Freightliner, why do you do it? Why do you do me this way? Haley girl, chime in. I work and I work. And I get this kind of crap. Oh, Freightliner, why do you do me this way? I didn't say I'd be singing on tune. I just said I'd be singing a song. Haley's chiming in. Quiet was. Hey. 
That's a quiet one. <laughs> that? I say quiet one. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Freightliner, Freightliner. <laughs> Why do you do it? I got so many few miles. All it should be is big old smiles. But Freightliner, Freightliner, you give me such heartache. I'm having problems and problems. And I don't know what rhymes with problems. But this is a bunch of garbage. Should not be happening. My gauges are jumping. And then they go start to dump in. And Freightliner, oh Freightliner, why do you do it? All I want to do is just drive. Hey, little girl. Anyway, folks. Freightliner. This is Freightliner. Good stuff, huh? Good stuff. All fairness, um, really not all fairness. This is this is a truck with, I mean, I'm just under 10,000 miles. And with, and I got this truck and then was pretty much on home time and then I just got back from home time again. Hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, they're not figuring it out, but Come here, over here. On your chair. You got a truck that's not even to the, not even halfway to the breaking point. And uh, I've had a wheel sill go out. I've had my ABS light come on and off and on and off and on and off. Uh, now we can't get it to regen um, and all this other stuff. What the heck? What the heck, Freightliner? What's the daily? What's the daily, Freightliner? Man, what is the deal? And I don't think, uh, no, it's not. It's a, oh, and there goes my lights. There we go. So, yeah, it uh, went back to normal, it looks like. Um, basically, what the, they said that lights. happened. <laughs> What's that? Except for the lights that just shut off. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, they'll do that over time. Um, they think whoever used the computer last, they just unplugged it instead of disconnecting from the last computer. Okay. Because I was having troubles trying to connect to your, your ECM. And that's why I was having issues, and it was telling me I need an updated version. But it was still trying to connect to the whoever used the last used it last. Right. It was still trying to connect to that ECM. Okay. So it wasn't seeing yours. Okay. So I had to restart the computer, and I'm gonna try it again and see what happens. All right. So, sorry. Hey, man, it happens. <laughs> <clears throat> well, there we go. So part of this could have been uh, one of their techs not properly using their computer right. So once they get that thing rebooted, then we'll try to regen this again. Like I said, the regen takes an hour. An hour, and it's, uh, it's after, it's probably about close to 7, 7 p.m. I'm not making my delivery on time supposed to be at my delivery up in Sumner, Washington at 10 o'clock tonight, 2200. That ain't going to happen. So, um, but some things are out of our control and we just roll with the punches, roll with the flow, stay positive. Uh, it's easy to, you know, we can crack jokes about it and um, kind of lighten the mood a bit, but, you know, it's either that or just get all bent out of shape and pissed off about it. Um, I choose, I choose uh, to, you know, just try to find some humor in it and stay positive because things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. And like I said in my other video, that's life. Things happen. Things pop up unexpected. It's shitty. But you know what? And there goes my truck. Just shut off. Um, 
it is what it is, you know. You just got to stay positive, look on the bright side. Bright side is I'll be running eventually. I'll be out of here soon enough, sometime tonight. And then I'll be back on the road where I'm happy. So, uh, and hey, the girl be happy, aren't you? Aren't you, girl? Hey, the girl's always happy. She don't care. She's got her toy. She's got a toy. And she got her chewy bone down there. She already got dinner. She already went out and played. And, uh, and now we're just going to stand by. So I'm going to flip on the boob tube. See what we got. Let's get into this shot. <laughs> you have four unread messages. Is it uh, typical for a Freightliner to want to regen this early? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to unbungee the TV. I'm going to watch a little TV here for a minute. Uh, if they get this thing to do what it should be doing, I'll be sitting here for an hour anyway, waiting for it to be done. So, with that, keep your head up, look on the bright side, stay positive, do with the bullshit as it comes, and, you know, that's the best we can do. That's the best we can do. So... Anyway, just a little update on here, what I get to deal with today. I'll be back at it soon enough. You guys have a good one. Um, yeah, do your thing, and I'll put some videos out, you know, when I can. If you got suggestions about stuff like that, let me know. I'll get videos up. If you like the stuff, give it a thumbs up if you like it even more. There it goes. It's starting to regen. And so what happens on the region is that thing is going to run up to 1,250 RPMs. And what it's doing is heating, let me mute this, it's going to, uh, it's heating that uh, filter up in there and I, I don't, I'm no mechanic, you know, I'm handy, but I'm no mechanic. It'll uh, heat that filter up and burn off. Um, the contaminants I guess you can call it and uh, and essentially clean that filter out but you heard them this is not typical a truck with this few of miles should not need a regen this early so I don't know what it's about but I don't know I don't know what to tell you what up hey the gears up up ups all right guys have a good one I'll catch up with you later